So how are we going to generate that love for the nation? And and make it for them to understand it's vital because if we don't do this we will we'll have this conversation in another 30 years, 40 years, 50 years. Whatever the time this country exists, we will have this conversation. So how, how what are your thoughts on that? You brought up very interesting area into this conversation. I'll get into the family unit again. What happens if you do not treat a child or if a child is feeling unwanted, unaccepted? Then the child gets out of that thing, becomes very critical and then feels out of the system. So our main problem is we need to, what, what we need to do is we need to accept people as who they are. Mm. I have to accept you. You are an individual. You are a capable man. Give you the appreciation of what you can do for this country. Right? And then that something happens inside you and you then come out. I say yes. There is something that I can finally I'm do. I am valued. I am wanted. I am a part of Sri Lanka. And let's do something. So, now it has come to such a point that this this is like a sacrifice now because it, it's a sacrificial thing you need to accept whoever who is next to you as a capable man acceptance doesn't mean that you are that you you respect that person yeah. and because everybody thinks like if i accept uh, a person who is completely different for me mm-hmm. oh everybody might think that i'm that uh, that kind of a mentality is being created. So that's not what you're talking. You're saying we have to just forget about. It. It's not about you taking it. Except God has given me special qualities. God has created me in a different way. So if we team up, we can do a lot of things. Then we then going individually. I mean that's that's what we did in the Air Force. Yes. Everybody was accepted. Actually, a good lesson for everybody is if you are given a team to work. Take everybody and work as a team because the lead, the person whom you think will be of least value to the team will also have something positive to give to the team. And if you value that man, he is going to be sometimes the best man in the team. So first thing is we have to appreciate all our citizens. You are all capable. Look. Everybody can do something for this country. It must be very genuinely done. Mm-hmm. Let's do this. Let's value your ideas. Okay, let's do this. So they must be part of what we are doing. You know? So then this becomes again that wartime scenario becomes a huge force. And we are going in one direction. So acceptance is everybody's responsibility. Those days, we used to know our neighbors, we used to know their houses, but I don't think mm-hmm. nowadays they, do, they, they even no, they go, go near the gate. You have to appreciate, but now what happens is they compete with them. No, so you have something good, man. why don't you go and do this, go and do that top job, I can't do that because I can't do this. You go and do it. It can be a Muslim or it doesn't matter, it can be a Sinhalese, it doesn't matter. But all Sri Lanka, no? that's what I passport says anyway. Sri Lanka. So I think that, that, that in that we have started a good thing. So it must develop down now. A uh, lot more to discuss, uh, Marshall. I can give you an example also later. Please. Of a person who lost a race but won the hearts and minds of everybody in the studio, stadium. I forget his name. Maybe he, he, he was an Olympic runner, a Sri Lankan. The one who... Uh, Unadas, the was he? Yes, I, I, I think so. You, you should check, yeah. yeah. I, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I think in the 80s, uh, yes. but I don't know, for some Olympic event, he was he was a marathon runner. Yeah. So, they started the race, and it was a packed audience. Everybody was now coming. I'll, I'll his name is uh, Ranatunga Karunananda. Karunananda, yes. yes. Now I get his name. Karunananda is still to come. Everybody has now finished the race also. But he comes to the stadium. He starts his run. At the, maybe the first hundred meters, everybody, of course, had scornful looks and all this guy. 
only coming now brown guy <laughs> second 100 meters everybody is now starting to be take notice of this guy he's still running third 100 meters dead silence what is he doing fourth 100 meters this man sprints you know the last 100 meters he sprints and crosses the line to standing applause you know i think the american won the race but he came to karunanand and said look i won the medal but i think you won the race mm. and this guy's feet actually brings tears into my eyes when i mm. said this guy's feet is in japanese books textbooks you know for people to have uh, courage when they fail or whatever it is mm. to be like karunanand they actually taught in schools but sadly it's not here. this guy was not recognized in our country i think he died later on maybe with a broken heart i think maybe as a nation we could find his child and okay make amends and Please. say your dad did a super job and i think his example is been taken by other countries it is high time that we take an example of what he did great feat he did sprint in the last 100 meters knowing he will not get anything why he wanted to finish the race that he ran so we must also be everybody you have a race to run i have a race to run so everybody has a race to run arjuna had a race to run mm-hmm. so we have to run that race until we cross the finish line